But the heart emoji, the heart eyes, I mean, emoji is, mm-hmm. you know, you wouldn't think it's flirting. An emoji is an emoji for me. I'm sorry. Let me preface this by saying that this whole, like our, even us talking started from a fire emoji. So Nick saying an emoji is just an emoji is wild right now. Look at her face. (laughs) I sent a flame emoji and got a paragraph back. Girl, I know you want to. Welcome, YouTube. We're back again for Yoli and Nick's episode of What Are We Talking About Today? Today we have a Q&A from Instagram. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> oh Nick my. got her nails done for her birthday and is feeling sassy, sassy Drake. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, I let Yoli do the intro one time. <laughs> he told is, me to do it that way. And this is what, this is what we get. <laughs> sorry, guys. So sorry. All right, back Anyways. to the serious. Back to the serious. Before we get started with this video, you already know what to do. Smash that like button. It's going to help us with the algorithm here on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell right next to it so y'all can stay notified when we upload on our channel. And let's get into this Q&A. All right. So a little bit ago, I asked y'all what you want to know of. We just did an open Q&A and we had some good ones. I, pe- I uh, picked my top three. First one, the one that we get asked the most is how did y'all meet? It's on our YouTube channel. So just click below. It's I think it's literally called how, how we met. Yeah. How did we meet? So it's on there. Um, the next question we got the most of was how, <laughs> how are y'all doing this long distance relationship? Couldn't do it. Mm. You know, before I, I met Yoli, it was out of the question for me. Like I didn't even really... Believe, not necessarily believe in them, but I didn't, I wouldn't even give it the time of day. Um, just because, like, it's such a hassle to have to fly into someone else's city, get to know them from afar. You can't see them when you want to. Um, it's just a lot of reasons to count me out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You're ridiculous for that one. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, uh, I think we're doing pretty good at it so far, and it gets harder as time goes on. You know, uh, um, we're both dealing with different life situations that make it work for now. I think we're a good, um, where we're at in life, it's working out okay. Yeah, I'm I'm big on that. It's exactly because where we're at in life, like, I'm flexible, thankfully, with my time, um, Nick's really flexible with her time as well. And like there was, we, we met when I was being flown, flewed out to <laughs> all sorts of cities and places for events and hosting, et cetera. So she was able to just hop along with me. And I was really lucky for that. I mean, that was a big bulk of it for a second. Yeah, for sure. Um, we met what almost around pride month so you were out and about and Mm -hmm. I mean my schedule obviously I can work from wherever and do what I need to do as an entrepreneur so it worked out um I say I don't think this is everyone's situation though um some of the things that we do like especially during our down season right where we're not always flying around to different cities and we're just chilling and just working at our home base in Chicago and Dallas um, we at least make it a priority to see one another at least once or twice a month, mm-hmm. I think. It's never been once a month. Let's just yeah. start there. <laughs> but I know people are like, but it's expensive, like seeing each other, paying for hotel rooms, flying, flights are expensive. But I, I was thinking about it, and we literally pick and choose what we want to spend our money on. Yeah, You know, like... You could buy a pair of kicks nowadays for a flight ticket. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be 200 bucks. And from Chicago to Dallas, it's not that that expensive of a flight. Um, I feel bad for like people who are long distance, like across the pond. You know what I mean? Like they are in the UK dating someone in Australia, dating someone out the country. Now, that's a different type of expense Mm -hmm. (laughs) that, again, count me out. You know what I mean? So. I don't know. I just like to be with my person um, and have access to them when I want to. And I have to wait on no flight and I have to wait till our schedules mesh and stuff like that. Um, But it's worked out for 
it's worked out for me too in a sense of like I am an all in kind of lover like I am always like just wrapped up with my person but being long distance has allowed me to like pace myself in a way that I think it's necessary for me to like get to know you better and to just still like I'm new to working for myself I'm new to building my own schedule uh, it's hard for me to do that because I'm just like normally I think I just like walk over to her and like what are you doing yeah. You know, so I'm like, it's good for me to be a part and to just like, be, I don't know, work on my content, edit, um, pitch email. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of work and it's, I don't know if I could do it, learn how to do that while being excited and getting to know my partner. Yeah. Now, I mean, we've spent what, this is about a month together now. Um, that's been challenging because we're used to not yeah. being together as much. Right. So that's been a little different. Oh, for sure. Like now we're getting to know each other on a different level of um, waking up next to each other on a regular basis every day and seeing what our everyday routines are, mm -hmm. um, seeing if Yoli farts in her sleep, seeing with the farting, <laughs> you know, seeing if, uh, you know, just everything, every day to day routine that you don't get to see when you're long distance. Um, but uh, we could go on and on about that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to get off track. But the long distance thing, like a few tips are just to see each other as much as you can. FaceTime. Um, FaceTime is a thing. I'm Definitely saying. FaceTime. FaceTime, but only FaceTime when you have something to say. Yeah. You know, like no dead space. Because then you're just staring at each other and it's like, okay, what are we talking about? And at first I feel like we went through that too. And Definitely. it was like. Girl, I can't be on the phone with you all the time. I can't. Like, doing every single thing. Like, I work from my phone, and then I would feel bad because I'm like, I would want to get off the phone with her, or I would be on FaceTime with her. We're not doing shit. We're just, like, bullshitting on, on FaceTime. But then I would have, like, the FaceTime window small and then, like, doing work otherwise or trying to edit or whatever, and she could tell I was distracted, and then that doesn't feel good. So we learn to cut that back and just be more intentional with when we do FaceTime or just a quick little like, Hey babe, you know, like, and then like hang up and move on. <laughs> like, yeah. um, like a quick check in, but while allowing ourselves, um, like our own autonomy still. Yeah. Um, that and like our cards, we've been doing really good with the cards. We've been doing TikTok live dates on Monday night and we use like the card decks and that's also been a really good way to like continue getting to know each other and build intimacy. Mm hmm. It really has been. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all the card games. Yeah. Because, like, we don't know what we would be doing without y'all. Like, truly. I mean, I got plenty of questions. But, yeah, it's oh, still fun. Oh, gosh. Yeah, she is chatty mother Kathy. Oh, let me pull up. Chatty okay. Kathy. So that's the long distance question. Another one. Oh, this one's really sweet. And we get asked this a lot. Tips for recovering from getting broken up with. Uh, Have you ever been broken up with? They broke up with you? Um, I can't say that I have been broken up with. No. I've never been broken up with. I've always done the breaking up. Um, but even though I haven't been broken up with directly, doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. You know, like breaking up with someone. And you still have to recover from it. That does still hurt. Yeah. Yeah. And like. I, okay. So like. Right now, I feel like I'm I have I'm starting to heal from a breakup. You know what I mean? Um, now I'm going through therapy and grieving last relationship, you know, closing that chapter completely. And I think that. One of the tips I would give. OK, what was the question again before I get off track? Tips for recovering from getting broken up with. They got broken up with. Okay, that's, yeah, exactly. I knew I was steering off into Metaverse where I'd be. Um, so getting broken up with, just know that it has nothing to do with you and all to do with them. Mm. And a lot of people, they're like, the first thing that they look at is like, what was wrong with me? Why didn't that person want to be with me? Why wasn't I good enough for that person? And sometimes we're just not our stars aren't aligned. You know what I mean? Like we're just not meant to be with that person. And it takes two to be in a relationship. So I would much rather get broken up with than someone taking me along the way yep. and not breaking up with me. Yep. And then 10 years down the line, you're like, yo, I actually, 
never wanted to be with you or whatever the case was. That's worse. You know, so just know that we are on a solo journey <laughs> and uh, sometimes we're not a part of their past and it's better to let those people go and know that you have something better waiting for you. I would say, I'm trying to think if I've been broken up with. I don't know. I think they've all, they've all been like mutual or I've broken up with them. So if your friend asks you, um, girl, I just got broken up with, what would you tell her? For sure. Um, ooh, surround yourself with community and people. And if you don't have um, community necessarily, if you have like maybe one person or maybe say, I mean, some people don't even have like a close person they can like confide with, then like, what do you like to do? That's my ongoing yeah. advice always for anything ever is get back to yourself. Um, and that's in the relationship as well. But like, what are things that make you you? And like, do those things because that'll help like soothe you. You'll find your confidence again through that. And then and then you're you again. And you're beaming and you're shining and you're, you're just full of, of life. Um, so go back to you. Um, what saves me... Even when you break up with somebody, it does hurt. What saves me every time, which brings me to tears every time, it's not so much the breakup, but it's the community around me every time. Yeah. Like just, I have like the most sweetest, best, like awesome friends who just look out for me the way I need to and who are just there. And I'm like, damn, I'm so lucky. Like It's yeah. almost like I'm like, I surround myself with love to remind myself that love is everywhere and love is abundant and it didn't work out here, but you're still with love and around love everywhere right and i'm just yeah always forever grateful for that but yeah surround yourself with community and do what you like to do and don't stop doing that when you get in a relationship yeah and that's a, a great reminder that there's love everywhere throughout this world mm -hmm. i mean you can love get it from abundant. a stranger yeah you know you could be sitting next to someone who is unhoused and they can tell you a story and now you feel connected to them and you feel the love, you know, so just realize that love comes from within, right? And just because someone isn't feeling it with you on their life journey anymore doesn't mean that you can't find that love within yourself. And um, once you, like, tap into that, I feel like the rest follows because it's hard to love someone else when you haven't found love in yourself. Um, you can't really give it to anyone else how you really, really want to. And um, sometimes when that person breaks up with you, it's because they haven't found it in themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I can't give it to you because I haven't even found it within me. How am I supposed to give love to someone else? You know, so, I mean, I've been there, too, where I was, like, struggling with my own self. And I was like, yo, I... I can't even give to you because there's nothing left in me. Like, I don't even love myself when I'm looking in the mirror. So how am I supposed to love you? You know, so like I said, it usually doesn't have anything to do with you and all to do with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, I think during those breakup times, like it, I actually clearly remember I was in a, remember we used to share Ubers? Is that a thing anymore? I don't think so. Yeah, you can. Oh, well, I was in a shared Uber and I was just like my lowest lows and this like really nice dude was in the car with me, like around my age and like just started chatting me up but not doing too much and like recommended a book. I forgot what it was, um, but just, it was like a great conversation. And I was like, man, like, it's one of those where I'm like, I felt like lighter after it. And I was like, grateful. Um, I feel like that's when I end up getting like free Starbucks, free coffee, like, just free stuff all around where I'm like, okay, this is universe reminding me that like you're, you're okay. And you're God like, formation. Yeah. I love that. Um, okay, next question is, is flirting cheating? Dun, dun, dun. Lord, I don't think so. I'm a flirt, too. Oh, man, what do I think? I, man, I got to get my ego stroked every now and then, you know what I mean? Like, every now and then you got to get your ego stroked by someone who isn't your life partner. I don't disagree with that. I, I mean, I don't disagree with that. What I think gets tricky is the intention behind it and how often you can see that person. Say it's, let's go back to your barista. Say it's your barista and you guys have a little flirt thing. That's cute. Well, now you're going to your barista every morning at eight in the morning. And now you're putting on your good cologne. Now you're putting on your new hoodie. Now you're like. Now you're pushing it. But like, <laughs> but you just want to feel good. You know what I mean? But it's like, but, and nothing's happening. 
y'all don't take it past. But you know, eventually you guys get each other's Instagram handles, and it's just nah, that's it where I'm just pushing. like, what's up? So the flirt. I mean, at what point do you pull back from the flirt because it feels good? I'm not saying flirting's bad. I'm just saying like no, you can't you do too just, much now. You got to right, have a limit in right. flirting. Like you could flirt, but like don't touch, look, but don't touch. You know what I mean? Right. So. When I was growing up, I saw my parents. Um, we we would always go to our neighbor's house across the street, and uh, I would play with their kids. And my parents would come over. I would come over too, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, the wife, uh, my neighbor's wife, would always flirt with my dad. Oh, but like Lord. everyone knew it was a thing, like. Uh, She'd be like, hey, Joe, my husband's here, y'all. Like, and my mom would laugh. Her husband would laugh. It was all a jokey thing. But, like, now that I look back, it was like a little flirtatious. Like, my dad would be like, hey, I'm on this and that. Like, so it was flirting, but, like, nothing was ever crossed. No bound, not like, nobody was mad. I've never, like, my parents, we always had a good time when we were there. I... I love that story, <laughs> but I'm just thinking like, because I'm just like, I'm, I wouldn't be mad at my partner necessarily, but I think I would be uh, like blown by the other woman being like, why are you so comfortable? Be like, I think it's disrespectful in I, your face. I think that's what happened to me in the first episode and the first 10 minutes of, you, you know, the show yeah. where in my face, I know we're in this situation, but in my face, you say some stuff. I think that's a disrespect. And then that's where my Leo Aries, whatever shows up. And I'm just like, I know you did it not in my face right be a citizen and like do it behind my back at least or something like be normal and do it somewhere else like yeah i think the in my face thing would be the in my face thing would be um i'm so used to like um the in my face thing would be what blows me where i'm just like what why that's wild and don't don't and don't you laugh too much back either because then i'm just like yeah you seen that uh that tiktok video where uh the girl's getting complimented on her shirt. You got a nice shirt. And then uh, the guy's like, thank you. And uh, they get in the car and the wife is like, you got a nice shirt. <laughs> Shut your dumb ass up. You know, <laughs> like, it's just like that. Like, um, I, I don't think flirt is a bad thing. I think that there are limits and you know when you're doing too much. Right. Okay. Like right. it's common sense. You right. know, if you're doing the most um you know if it now gets to touching that it's too much i mean and i'm talking about like the caress touch i'm not talking about like squeezing the shoulder patting the back but when it's arm around the waist and it's getting lower you know what i'm saying like (laughs) you copping a feel low key um you're starting to feel inside more than flirting you're feeling attraction you're feeling you want to take it to the next level or whatever the case may be. That's cheating to me. Um, like, so what about, okay, because you said touching. What if you're not touching? I think in social media, there's so much you can do. So what if you find out that there's somebody who is attractive, you know my type maybe, and you're like, this is somebody that would be Yoli's type, and you find out that they're sending heart emojis to every selfie, everything that I post, like every selfie, every whatever, and they're my, bar- I don't know why I keep going back to baristas. I have nothing against baristas. <laughs> it's never happened sure. this way. But I just think about like the, something that you could like see often, you uh-huh. know, like, and you find out it's my barista. And you're like, is that, and you're like, oh my God, that's where she's been going every morning. But like, no touch. I mean, we haven't met up or anything. Yeah. But the heart emoji, the heart eyes, I mean, emoji is, mm-hmm. you know. You get people in trouble. Hell yeah. I mean. I'm you wouldn't get, like, you wouldn't kind of raise an eyebrow. You wouldn't think it's flirting? An emoji is an emoji for me. I don't. Um, You guys, I'm sorry. Let me preface this by saying that this whole, like our, even us talking started from a fire emoji. So Nick saying an emoji is just an emoji is wild right now. Look at her face. (laughs) I sent a flame emoji and got a paragraph back. Because it's um, an emoji is an opening. For you. For a combo. For effort. Apparently, now I know what's up. Now I got to watch the emojis. Y'all better calm down <laughs> under y'all these pictures with the emojis. I don't want to see no hard eye nothing. I'm going to be right up under it. You like what you see? <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> no, but. No, an emoji I, isn't that deep, but it can be. I, I mean, know. I would have to be really insecure, I feel like, uh, at that point. And not saying that you don't, you have to be insecure. I know me, and I would have to be really insecure to be analyzing your stuff like that. 
to be like, oh, my God, that same one. So I would already have to have an inkling about your barista for me to be like, what's up with all the emojis? And that would be like, and you would only get an inkling if I'm doing too much kind of thing. Yeah, right, yeah, right. that makes sense. Yeah, so, that makes sense. I mean, a little emoji wouldn't set me off, even if it was on every picture. Like, I have uh, fem friends who support me. Right. You know what I mean? And they're fems. They're going to send a hard eye, whether they think you're attractive or not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They No physical attraction whatsoever. Hard eye. Yeah. You look good. Oh, I am like, you look I good, baby. Gas That's, everybody you know up. I mean? Exactly. Yeah, so I'm a gasser. It's not um, always like that. Uh, if I had an inkling, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, but uh. that's when it, but that would mean that it went too far. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. All right. Last quick one. Cause I think we get asked this all the time too. Okay. What are both y'all's big three sun, moon and rising? I, um, I am Leo sun, Aries rising and Gemini moon. And for those wondering, I got like heavy Leo placement too. It's like my Venus, Mars, Mercury, and one more, probably Jupiter, is all in Leo, too. So your girl's, uh, you know, that's where you get that from. <laughs> Basically, what she's saying is, y'all pray for me. <laughs> because what, Leo, Aries, Gemini? Yeah. I'm cross-eyed right now. I'm just kidding, man. I like you just the way you are. No. Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, my big three, Pisces, Sun. Leo moon, Virgo rising. Girl, and the Virgo be Virgo-ing. I like it. I like it in her. Like, she's very, like, she will complete a task, and she will see things through. Like, it's amazing. My ADD does not allow me to do that. Like, hers <laughs> is, like, it, she really, like, hyper-focuses on it. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is the Virgo in me. And the Leo moon, I mean, I think I understand you a little better because of it. And the Pisces sun, that's just where I'm at, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm Pisces through and through. Although, I feel like I'm on the cusp of Aquarius. And every now and then, I'm shining through. And the, the Aquarius is defeating my Pisces side. <laughs> and I'm sorry for y'all who have to experience that. I like Aquariuses a lot, actually. Okay. So, I'm, I'm all right. You Gucci then. Your Pisces side is the savage one mm -hmm. to me. So... Take it, take it how you want it. Oh God, Nick! See, now you're flirting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Right, well, that's our Q and A. Leave it down in the comments below. What are your big three? I'm trying to see something. Let me know. I'm trying to see if I'm safe. Y'all, let me know if I'm safe. I don't know about these Leos. It's Leo love. I dated through one Leo. and through over here. I dated one Leo, and we're not together no more. My girlies, my Leo girlies, know know what's up. All my fire signs know what's up. They I love you. No, my Aries, my Sagittarius, they're all, we're all here. Support, support group. I'll mess with you, dog. I'll mess with you. All right. <laughs> um, what do you say? Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell on the right or the left. I don't know. Oh, hit the bell. What else? And the next hit follow. No. Subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in our next video. We love y'all. Peace. Besos. <laughs>